In this video, I'll just look at provisioning compute from the Yellow Dog platform portal that you see here using a template that I've already created. So let's get started. What I'm going to choose to choose the template from the list, and the one I'm going to choose here is this one here, the second one, which is a split source um, to get C5 12x large machines. As you can see, the namespace and the images ID are actually uh, defaulted in from the template itself. And all I have to do is type in the compute requirement name, which in this case is a free format name that I can use to keep it separate from other compute requirements. A user tag, if I want to do, uh, add that in. So I'm just going to put in user tag. And then I'm going to provision, let's just say, four resources. And I'm going to maintain instance count, which I'll come back to in a moment. Let's provision that compute. Okay, I've just paused that video while that compute has come up for me. So what's actually happening is, is that the compute requirement will maintain the uh, instances uh, under its management. And here they are, they've just suddenly all arrived. And these are spread across um, the C5 12X large machines, as I was saying. Uh, the, and these are spread across um, four different regions. Uh, EUS1, US East1, US East2, and US West2. I can maintain these machines as a whole collective using the compute requirement, so I can stop and terminate them in one, in one go. Or I can do that individually, um, looking at the machines that you see here. I can also specify, look at each one individually and see uh, which particular images they're running, uh, what is the instance lifecycle, uh, private IP addresses, and so on. The key thing which you saw at the beginning was me maintaining the instance count. If I do get a, a machine that actually suddenly becomes unavailable, and um, these are spot machines, the compute requirement will actually maintain the instance count at the level I specified, in this case, four. To bring down the machines or stop and start them, all pretty easy. Just use the terminate button here.